To be honest, it's not really fair that we compare apples with oranges. But who told you that world is a fair place? Today, we're going to compare Angular with React. Let's get started. Now, there is one very specific thing that you should know before watching this video. This video is not about corporate. I know and I can understand you might be having very specific need, very specific benchmarking and performance issue that you really want to solve. But this video is not about corporate. This video is about students because students are in a problem. They want to figure out which one is best for them and which one they can get started. What problems to expect, what problems not to expect. So this video is all about students. Also, I do have a preference in this video and you are totally allowed to disagree with my preference. That's totally 100% fine. But if you're gonna ask me tea or coffee, I have a preference over tea. You might be a big coffee fan, but coffee works for me as well. So I do have a preference, keep that in mind. Usually such video ends with, it depends, but this video got some answers for you. This stupid thing still charges like this, but anyways, it gives us some time to talk. So let's go ahead and talk about React versus Angular. First and foremost, prerequisites. In the React side, there is no much of prerequisite. If you know JavaScript, and I'm not talking about the basics of JavaScript, you should be decent in JavaScript, and especially things like what is arrow functions, the spread operator and how it works, destructuring of an object, these are just basic common thing, and you will be understanding them a lot. But there is no apart groundbreaking thing or new thing that you have to learn. Surely there are new concepts, but as a prerequisite, I would say if you know your JavaScript well, then that's it. That's all you gotta need for getting started with React. Now, when we move on to the world of Angular, you're gonna see that most of people write their entire Angular code in TypeScript. Now, TypeScript is nothing new and you don't need to scare too much about it. If you know your JavaScript well, then you can be shifted onto TypeScript within a week. TypeScript help us to write more error-free code and it's actually, it actually pours out a lot of syntactic sugar here and there. But don't you get scared of working with the TypeScript is as easy as moving from A to B. It's really, really simple. But surely it gives a bit of mental stress that yes, I got to learn a new thing to get started. And I'll give you a fair advantage here that yes, there are some syntactical thing and some things like decorators, which is absolutely new. And sometimes it takes a little bit time to understand and learn it. So on the JavaScript side, there is no prerequisite on the Angular side. I would say not really a big deal, but still you got to learn TypeScript here. Now here is the most important thing. If you're coming up from the React side, you gotta hate the Angular world. If you're coming up from the Angular world, you gotta hate the React side. No, it's not just a fun statement. We really like to troll each other and both community are very well supportive, but it's a fun thing, it's a fun on its own and we like to do it quite a lot. Now I have worked extensively on React for years and recently I got a chance to work on Angular pretty thoroughly as well. Now here is the next thing that you really want to know. Which one is a smaller one? Again, smaller simply means the concept wise. Every framework, every library introduce a whole lot of concept. So how many more concepts I'm gonna learn in React and how many concepts I'm gonna learn in Angular? Reminding you again, React is just a small library. Angular is a big gigantic framework. The concepts in React are fairly small. The core fundamental foundational concept of React can be learned within like 15 days or 20 days and that's it because it just is a small library. There are a lot of things which are missing in the React, not because it cannot be done. We use third party modules to achieve those things. For example, routing. But in general, if you just want to learn React as a foundational concept, I think a decent programmer can learn it within 15 days or 20 days. On the other hand, Angular is a big, gigantic monster. We are not dependent on the Angular much on the third parties, for example, routing or much more other things. Everything is built in and cooked up in Angular. That means that you're gonna take some time to learn all the concepts of Angular. It's not really possible to understand the Angular within 15 or 20 days. It's probably gonna take two months, sometimes even more to understand fully that how the framework is architectured, what is the best practice to write the code, and what are all the features that it offers. So again, Angular being big one, so it takes time, and React being a bit a smaller one, so it takes less time, and uh, there is smaller things to learn there. The next obvious thing you might want to know that, okay, which one is easier to learn, which one is tough to learn? Now again, this always is a relative question. For you, lifting up 10 kgs is really a big deal. For me, 10 kgs is my warm-up set. 
again it all depends but again i would say from experience in teaching thousands of students i would say react is much easier to learn for students and angular is a little bit tricky to understand it's not really that much tough it just needs a little bit more time a few more examples to code out to finally understand the angular and I have also noticed that once people start to love Angular and try to get a feel of it, then they don't really want to get out of it. It's a very comfortable zone in Angular because everything is already cooked up. And once you get a feel of it, you kind of start liking it. It's almost like the black coffee taste. Once you adapt to it, you just want it forever. On the other hand, in the React, it's although very easy to learn, but you got to learn third party things as well. For example, how the router is working or how the Redux actually work. On the side note, Redux is available in both of them, but I would still say that React is much more beginner friendly to get started. Also, want to make this point that it looks like from outside that the concept that you're going to learn in React are going to be useful in Angular too but I didn't find it much of the relevant term. They are have their own architecture and the working style, the working flow, the code style that we write and the examples that we build out are fairly different and surely they help out with each other, but I wouldn't give any extra advantage to one or the other on this point. React is backed by Facebook and Angular is backed by Google. Now on the one side we have Facebook which a lot of people hate because they track us and serve the ad and share the information. On the other hand there is Google which a lot of people love because that company is not yet got caught for selling advertisements and breaching our personal life. Again it all depends on them. But here's the thing that you should know that both of them are selling advertisements and both of them are companies for profit. None of them is doing this entirely for the charity. They surely do their fair share of charities. But again, loving a project just because one company is backing it and another company is backing other, I think that's not a fair advantage. Both of these companies are notoriously known for shutting down the project because they couldn't make enough of profit from them or they just wanted to shut it down. So again, backing on this is not really good. Both of the project are fairly open source. The reason for saying fairly open source because there is a lot of versions of these products which are used inside the company and those versions are not being shared with us. Of course, for all good reasons, they have worked hard on it. The thing that they can make it open and public so that you can modify it on your own and can use to build another billion dollar company, that's actually a fair good advantage. So don't think that this is backed by Google so this is rock solid. I have seen enough of projects from Google that are being shut down. So many companies dependent on it and same is for Facebook as well. So this is just like a point which I would like to just throw up in the garbage that one is backed by Google and one is by, backed by Facebook. A totally irrespective point to compare. Let's throw it out. Now, doing an MVP on both of the project because what's gonna suit you best for that? What is going to be the performance? What is the benchmark? Which one is providing me the exact specific feature because my database is dependent on that? Are we gonna able to build SPAs on that? Both of them are actually very similar and up to neck on that. Now, I'm not gonna be doing specific benchmarking or performance optimization, which one is better because you need it for your company. Probably I'll tell you how to do the MVP in some later on videos. Right now, we don't want to go in those performance and all of that. I would say, here's my point which I would like to still make, that there are a lot of cases and chances where Angular is just like too big for a project. If you want to build up a smaller application and you just want to have it like a portfolio project, I wouldn't bring Angular in that because it's too big of a framework to do so. React being a smaller library and I can write more of a modular code in that, surely I would like to bring React for that in that, in that case. But this doesn't, this is a point which can easily be misinterpreted and saying that, hey, React is used for the smaller project. If I have a big scale banking project, I would love to use Angular in that. No, that's not the fact. React is still being used in a whole lot of a B2B application. Again, both of them are really, really a neck to neck competition, which one to choose and which one not to choose. Also, now the problem in the Angular, which was like backward compatibility is no longer there. So it's again a fair competition while doing the MVP, which product is gonna be sued best for your need if you are already having an application which is, which is serving tons of MySQL queries or maybe MongoDB. But that all MVP is for some another day. This is not a video about that. This is a video moreover friendly towards students. So coming on to the question that you have finished up your HTML and CSS and basics of JavaScript 
and you want to try your hands with either one of them, which one should you get started and clearing up your confusion, I would say that get started with React. And also, in the world, especially in 2020, you are not considered as a front-end developer if you just know HTML and CSS. The things are changed totally now, and you are expected to have at least one knowledge on either React, Vue, or Angular, or something like that. Since this comparison is strictly towards just React and Angular, we are not talking about Vue here, let's just say I just want you to say that start with React, and I have a very strong and solid reason for that. When you get started with React, you are introduced with some of the new concepts which were not there in the front-end development, especially handling of API, managing the states, and writing the optimized code so that your code doesn't really refresh again and again. These are the concepts which you learn more easily in React. These concepts are there in Angular too, but they are much more easier to learn in the world of React. Now also, another reason of saying that you should get started with React, because React is smaller, but I'm not saying that because it's smaller, get started with that. I'm saying it because you get introduced to so many of the third-party libraries that you get exposure to so much of the writing style of code. One library does the routing in X way, other, than, other do the same routing thing in Y way. So you get exposure to writing variety of style of code and you learn how to read the documentation through a variety of sections. This is good for you as a developer. So that's why I recommend in the beginning that you should get started with React. But that's not the whole story. React is one of the favorite for all these startups and people who are trying to build a new product. But you're going to also notice that people who do MVP, especially that are having their backend being designed in technologies related to Java or anything big, they actually tend to love Angular a bit more. So chances are high that a lot of you who are working already in corporate are now being told that you have to move in Angular. So instead of doing at that phase of life, it's better that you get a fresh taste of Angular beforehand so that you can quickly move in either of the technology very quickly. And as I mentioned that Angular is something which is like the black coffee. Once you adapt to the taste, it's really hard to get away from that. And all I'm saying that this is your student life. So start with React, finish it within a month or two months or three months, or let's just say a semester. And then the next one, try your hands with Angular as well. It's not that bad as it gets its reputation from all the YouTube videos and the blog posts. It's a decent framework. It's a good one. Surely a little bit bulky, take some time to learn, but it's worth it. I would recommend that go ahead and get started with React, spend some time with it, and at least also learn Angular after that. It's your student life. This is the time where we call ourselves as a student. That means we want to learn as much as possible. At the end of the day, when you'll get job and your boss will say that, hey, we got a deep dive into this technology, then we got to do it. We will be end up doing the deep of one technology on one day or the other. This is your student time. Explore it as much as possible. This is your path. Start with React and move to the Angular. And also to all those people who are looking forward to do MVP on a product, let's just say you are having a company or looking for a startup, then you want to find out that which product can be the most valuable product for you, either React or Angular or maybe Vue. What are the specification that we keep in mind? What are the server loads? What are the loading time? And what are the components we keep in mind while doing it? What database you are having, MySQL, Node, Postgres, what impact they do make on our product. So how to do these kinds of MVP? I would love to make a separate video on that. If enough of people actually want to have that kind of video, let me know in the comment section. And I'll do a separate video on testing out their benchmarking, their scores, and all the other GitHub actions and all of these things. So that for that is for some another day. Right now, I think you got your answer. But if you have any other different opinion from me, I would love to know them in the comment section. Please help out other students so that they can get started without wasting too much of time in which one is the best for me. Oh yes, I forgot one thing. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're gonna come up with more such videos and you're gonna enjoy them as well. So hit that subscribe, hit that like, and I'm gonna catch you up in the next video. Yes, I'm leaving now, you can also leave. Or you're waiting for that awesome music at the end, I'll throw that in, so enjoy that. Back to what used to be home Passing by those little towns I know so well Stopping for gas and then I'm behind the wheel again